I'm telling the story of when I was the side chick. So, I did a Twitter poll and I said, would you rather hear the story when I had a stalker or when I was a side chick? And apparently side chick is just more appealing to y'all. So, I'm gonna tell the story when I was a side chick. Let's get it. So, basically, um, I was talking to one guy and we were really cool, great friends, still friends to this day, super close. <laughs> but I met a guy, another guy, and he was like the bad boy type, and it kind of is true, sometimes the bad boy is more like you're attracted to. So I kind of was like, ew, I don't like him. Like when I first met, I was like, ew, I do not like him, no. Like he was doing too much, he just was not my type. I was like, ew, no, I, not, not at all, not gonna work. And then, I don't know, he something kind of came over me and I was like, okay, I guess I'd be, I'm kind of feeling him. So, with that being said, you know, I exchanged numbers. But let me tell you, he asked for a number and I would do the little girl thing like, no, you give me your number and I'll text you because I was never going to text him. But he was like, nah, I'm not doing that. You just give me your number. And he called me around the spot, so he did have my number. So I had to like, and then we kind of texted and I was like, okay, this is something different, you know? Um, but I was also texting another person and I was kind of like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't so I just realized me and the other person just were so much better friends and I did not want to ruin our friendship together because we were so close. Basically, we were just, getting to know each other but he was the send me a pic type of guy and i was like i don't get down like that so whenever i was like no he'd be like okay bye like he'd get mad and that was already a red flag but you know done me always took him back when he texted me <laughs> and that's my downfall but i was just like Okay, when he would take me back, we'd be good. If we didn't take him, I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about it, but I was like, whatever. I'm not gonna fall for his little things. I even seen a fake picture one time. <laughs> I found one on Google and I said, it. <laughs> so, and then I remember homecoming was coming up, and he didn't ask me, but he said he asked me because he was like, oh, what are you doing on this day? But that's not really asking me. I had a talk with him anyway. And another little red flag was I was always going to see him. And it was always late night. So I was like a booty call. When I really think about it, I was a booty call. And I did not think what this through. <laughs> but um, yeah, we went to school and we went to a party together. And you know, we're kind of like close, you know, I was doing our thing. You know, I sat on his lap though, like kind of the whole party. But it's because I swear he like went, made me do it. Like I didn't go out of my way because I wouldn't like that attention on me. And girls were like flashing lights on me. Like people were like just standing there watching. Like, and I would get up and they'd instantly go to him. And I was like, mm, okay, like that's weird. Um, and then we just were soon we got caught doing something with that. <laughs> it was so bad. But we were just chilling. Um, I never put him on Snapchat. I don't know why I didn't do that. Like, ladies, that is a test. If he does not let you, allow you to put him on any of your social medias, because he's like, no, let's keep it private, he's messing with other girls. Know that. I went to one of his football games. It was senior night. And I remember my friend told me, oh, that's one of his little girls that he's messing with. And I was like, ah, shh. I said, oh, that's what we're doing. So, you know, of course I addressed that issue and you know, what are you talking, I don't even know, da, 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 the same old thing. And of course, me listening. And uh, towards, we were for like six months, five months, five months and a half. Towards the end, like it just started to fall off. Hey. I was, you know, chilling with him. Messed up my game at that party. And I'm like, oh, if I mess up your game, say, say less about that. So I was like, bye. Thinking reverse psychology, you know, they'll fight for you. That didn't work. I was like, bye, I'm talking to me, don't contact me, I'm gonna do me because I've been doing me. And I said, okay, perfect. You do you while I do me. So 
deuces. He's like, nah, I'm gonna text you. No, he's like trying to hold me back. I'm like, nah, we're not about to play this. Bye, like, get on my face. And that's reverse psychology. He's gonna be like, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. I was really thinking that's what was gonna happen. Y'all, that didn't happen at all. <laughs> so I'm over here simping, and this dude's chilling. And then he gonna have nerve to mess with my best friend at the time. Like, he gonna ask for her number, and he knew only that's my best friend, and you know, she did it. And I was like, yo, what the heck? Like, so I was gonna both of them, like, yo, y'all is hacking dirty. Birthday. I was like, he didn't say happy birthday to me. Like, I was really stripping all that. Like, I had a bad birthday because of that. So I hit him up and I was like, uh, good night. And I was like, I just said good night. Just like, mind you guys, I'm like, this is a sophomore. I'm, I'm a junior now. I'm a junior at this point. I'm like, can I? And he replied, and I was like, fine, we're okay, we're good. And then like, I was like, well, you didn't like try. And he was like, nah, da, da, you don't explain it. And he said, send me a picture. I said, no. And he said, no, he said, come. He's like, um, let me try. He said something, like something sexual. And I was like, that's out. And he was like, okay, bye. And I was like, bye, like, bye, I don't care which I did. <laughs> and then he called my phone around Christmas time. And I'm, I his number was deleted because I was like, let's do this, deal with this. Um, and I'm like, hello, who is this? And I'm like, is this my uncle? <laughs> and it wasn't. It was him. And I was like, are you serious? Like, and I'm like, hello, like, what, what do you want? I'm just, I'm rude at this point. I'm like, what do you want? Like, da, 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 chat. Don't want to talk. Call me around. Christmas, Christmas he called me. Where is it at? I don't know, it's Christmas. I'm with my family, you hang out with your family. It was so, he called me and my cousin's like, hang up, you know? And I was like, there's nothing. And I had to hung up, like, whatever. Like two days before Christmas, um, I found out I was a side chick at the time. This is when I found out. So in his bio, he had this, a certain bio and it had a number in it. And at the time, it was just three months into we were talking. At the time, I'm like, why would like, maybe it's something sneaky, maybe someone like died and stay play. That's what I was thinking. Like it was never in it. And it was like this whole little buy. I, don't know, I didn't think nothing to it. But I remember before we started talking, like seriously, he had a picture of, of him and his ex on his profile. And of course, naturally, what are you guys, what is someone gonna do? They're gonna say, oh, who is this girl? Who, who is he used to, you know, mess with? So like I already knew who she was. I seen her. Like I was like, I'm not really tripping, you know. Like I mean, at the time, I'm thinking, I'm bad. At the time, I wasn't even cute like that. Like he probably mad now. Like okay, like whatever. So two days before Christmas, fast <laughs> fast forward, I see her name. I'm like, oh, I wonder how she's doing. Like like let's see what's up. Clear her profile. She has a weird bio with a number in it. I'm like, yo, ain't that his number? I'm like, nah, they wouldn't do that. Cause like, that's like, that, you have to be really like, trying to be secretive. I was like, they ain't, they ain't doing that. So then I go back to his place and maybe he don't got the number still in it. Maybe it's a different bio. He still got the number in his bio. I said, ain't he this number? So I go back to his picture and make sure I'm not tripping. He is this number. I said, bro, but she ain't that number. I bet she, I said, no, watch her be this number. So, you know, I go back to her page, I'm like, she don't got no picture with her in a number. Then I'm like, hey, she had a picture of her in a sweatsuit. Let me see, cause usually sweatsuits have your number on the, on, the, on the pants. So I look and I'm like, y'all I said, they tried it. They must have tried it. I was like, oh, you thought you was doing something? I said, oh, at least. Now I know. I said, now I know. I said, oh, mm -mm. He, ain't, he thought I had attitude. Oh, he, he gonna get attitude. He was messing with this girl. He messed with her for a minute. Let me tell you, he messed with her since. He's been playing her, so she's been getting played too because he's been messing with a lot of females. So she's been getting played this whole time, but at the time, you should have played me. That's how I know I'll never get played again. This situation has taught me, opened my eyes. I catch all the red flags now. So, with that being said, you know, I'm like, oh wow, like, he trying to play me, I'm telling all my friends, like, he, he, ain't, he ain't nothing, like, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then, um, we go to a party. 
I see him at this party. I don't know if he thought we were friends. I don't know what he thought, but he like tried to like touch me. I was like, eh. I was like, don't touch me. Like, get off me. No, uh-uh. And he was just like I'm trying to be no, I don't I don't want to talk to you. And then finally we had to like sit there and talk to each other and I was like he was like, you, he's like, it seems like you got an attitude. What's your problem? You got a problem with me? Like, what's that? I was like, no, I do got a problem. I said, don't you got a girlfriend? Why are you here? And he gonna say, what? You know, the typical little dude, what, what are you talking? You know what I'm talking about. I said, yeah, you're a little girlfriend. You have one, why are you here? I don't got a girlfriend. I don't know what you talking about, bro. I said, mm, oh yep. Yeah. I said, well, that's the reason why we're not talking no more. And he, you know, he shut up. You know, he gonna be like, well, we never talked. Yeah, shut up. Cause you know we did. Cause he was playing my mind. We can go through my text messages right now and see who was really talking to who. And I was just like, okay. And then after, you know, him and his little posse, he was trying to kick it with my posse. And I was like, no. They're like, no. Like he was like, for old times sake, what? We never did nothing. Like. I mean, you might think that, you might tell your homies that, but we didn't. At the end of the day, we didn't do anything. Like, it might have been close, but it never happened. And um, so he gonna say, um, just for old time's sake, let's kick it. I said, no. And then I had my friend texting one of the other ones, and she was like, no, y'all have girlfriends. They, bro, they all had girlfriends, like honestly. And then they're like, show us, show us. I said screenshot, screenshot his and her profiles, and we sent it to them. Yeah, say something about that now. No reply. Exactly. Don't try to play me. You will never play me. So that is basically the story of how I found out I was a side chick. And I mean, it's not anything crazy. It's just I just didn't catch the sign. So more of the story. Let me give you guys some tips. If he does not allow you to put him on social media or he does not post you on social media and his reasoning is let's just be private no one needs to know about us he's messing with other girls and i'm not saying you guys have to be crazy pda but just like maybe like a post or something he's messing with another female know that and some boys are bad texters there's some but if he takes over two hours just to reply back He's messing with someone else. And like, I mean, unless he gives you a reason. Unless he gives you a reason. But most of the time, if he don't give you a reason and it's consistently he's always doing that, it's because he's texting other people. Or you're not really his priority. Remember that. Another thing. If you know he goes to every single party that there is in your hometown, he's messing with females there. Trust me me and all he wants to do is go out he's messing with some females there trust me nowadays you can't trust no dude you really gotta be on your p's and q's make sure of that if his friends are those dudes that you see on snapchat that be on that encouraging stuff and they be put best believe he doing it too he just not recording it so you can see if he always make it look like you did something wrong don't trust him he just doing that so he don't look bad he flipping it on you so you feel bad for yourself. If he only calls you after 11, you're a booty call and you better leave him. Trust and believe that. And if he's always asking for you to drive and take him places or for you to get him something, leave him alone. I do not care, girl. If you work a job and he ain't doing nothing, leave him alone. Find you someone that's on your game. And some people, some people I can give them, they trying, they doing some other things. Totally wrong. But if he ain't trying to do nothing, nothing at all leave him alone